In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Glasgow as an example of somewhere that's been rebranded and regenerated. This is for the OCR A-level spec where you need to know a rebranding case study. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why Glasgow, the place, needed to be rebranded. So Glasgow is on the west of Scotland and its location is very important to its history. It's based on the River Clyde and this River Clyde has really good access to the Atlantic Ocean. This was significant in Glasgow's history because um, it could get really easy access to the Atlantic. It meant it became a, a key port location, um, trading goods across the Atlantic, everything from tobacco all the way to sugar and manufactured goods. This um, key location on the Clyde waterfront, um, but also the fact it was very near um, coal and iron mines, very nearby in nearby Lanarkshire, meant that Glasgow not went just from a port, but actually became an industrial centre. And so by the 20th century, Glasgow um, had grown in several key industries, building locomot uh, locomotives, essentially their trains, uh, chemical production. But most significantly, because it was on a waterfront, it had access to the sea, it became very, very important in terms of shipbuilding. This shipbuilding um, was particularly important for Glasgow because it put it on an international stage. They became very famous for building ocean liners like the HMS Queen Mary here. Um, and as I said, that international reputation by the 20th century, Glasgow um, was known for shipbuilding internationally around the world. 30,000 ships built uh, between the 19th and 20th century. This was 20% of all the ships in the world um, that were, that were actually built. They were made on that Clyde waterfront in Glasgow. Because of that, shipbuilding was a really key employer um, in the early 20th century. 70,000 people were working in shipbuilding and the associated industries in Glasgow. So I'm now going to talk about what's happened since that kind of industrial heyday that, that has meant that Glasgow's needed to rebrand. The, the major issue that happened, as we've seen in places like Toxteff and Birmingham, uh, Glasgow went into industrial decline. Uh, the, the picture on the left is of uh, an area in Glasgow uh, in the centre, which was famous for shipbuilding and manufacturing. And the picture on the right is what it looks like in modern day Glasgow. So industrial decline uh, from the post-World War II was really significant in Glasgow, and it's why it's needed to rebrand uh, in the modern era. So there are several reasons why there was decline in Glasgow uh, post World War II. And the first one was the fact is the product they were making, which was essentially big ocean liners for the sea, uh, started to not be as important. The reason why is because cars became a way that people would travel around and more importantly if I was going internationally I was going to go there by airplane because it was faster and cheaper and therefore less people were going by uh, big ocean liners so the fact that people could use other more accessible transport means meant that the, the market for ocean liners hugely declined same with the locomotive industry because people can afford a car they don't need to uh, necessarily go on trains and therefore the the market for steam trains was um, reducing during that post world war ii period the other the fact is that happened in a lot of uk cities is the manufacturing that was made in these key places like glasgow manchester uh, Sheffield, Newcastle. It became cheaper to make it abroad um, and so the manufacturing moved away to cheaper locations. I've put here initially Japan but now lots of the manufacturing that was in Japan will have moved on to other places like in Malaysia, uh, in Mexico and Brazil and other EDCs. Because of these two big factors um, there was mass de-industrialization and employment in shipbuilding in Glasgow and especially concentrated in key areas like Govan where there were big ship docks. So by the 70s um, Glasgow like many places in the UK was in a severe industrial decline. Nearly 142,000 jobs were lost in the city between 1961 and 81. Because of that, um, Glasgow's reputation has suddenly changed from this big, important industrial manufacturing centre to one of industrial decline. Uh, this was particularly felt by um, men that were working in those ship building yards, but also other manufacturing jobs. So the semi-skilled workers, they were the biggest losers because not only did they have lose their jobs, but there wasn't alternative jobs for them to go into and they didn't have the skills 
to go into other professions. D during the same time, Glasgow was not only suffering from unemployment and, and big kind of industrial decline, but the reputation for its housing was pretty poor. So what they tried to do in the 60s, they tried to build big social housing blocks to replace the slums that had been there before. Uh, places like Gorbals, which is this picture here, had these huge uh, tower blocks built to make it better for the, the, the citizens of Glasgow. But, but the, unfortunately, these um, tower blocks were really poorly designed. They were cheaply made. That means things like mould and asbestos uh, became issues. The fact that they were also built in these big tire, tower blocks um, wasn't conducive to uh, a good community. People felt very isolated. It led to more crime rates happening, um, lots of uh, polarisation of communities. And, and because of that, Glasgow's housing was seen as really poor uh, alongside the fact that there were very few jobs and it was seen as an industrially declining city. All of this combined uh, to meet that fact that lots of people started to leave Glasgow. A third of the population left in that period between 1961 and 81 because of the lack of jobs, because of the poor housing and those crime rates that were starting to go up. This meant by the 80s that the image of Glasgow that was known not only internationally but in the UK was of mass unemployment, huge industrial decline and crime rates and drug rates that were very, very high. Uh, and we can see the picture of these people here that are unemployed, um, you know, next to a, a burning waste, uh, pile of waste, and uh, they're obviously drinking on the street, which shows you it's not a place that people would want to go to. It's not a very nice, uh, aesthetically pleasing image. And it got this um, nickname called No Mean City, which was a reference to a book written about, about the Glasgow um, slums. So Glasgow's kind of phrase that people would use their popular image was that there was no mean city saying it was a place that people did not want to go to not want to visit because it was mean and declining and full of people that were uh, going to rob you or uh, kind of try and sell you drugs and no one had a job so this is the main reasons why by the 80s Glasgow um, had to try and rebrand to get itself out of this uh, popular image and I'm going to talk about the rebranding strategies in another video